what we are going to do is uh, going to um, to merge different kinds of disciplines from the micro scale to large scale. And uh, I think this is uh, what's going to be very strong with this cooperation. Because uh, the, the group here, they work more with the large scale, figuring out where the different types of ices and how they form and how the energy balance and all that works. Whereas we are doing more, or what, what I will bring in is more the smaller scale, what happens actually within the sea ice and the interfaces between the atmosphere and the ice and the ice and the ocean uh, on a very small scale down to micrometers even nanometers some places. and the reason for doing all that is that um, we have uh, we believe that uh, the sea ice would affect gas exchange and salt exchange uh, within uh, with with in surface layer surface layers of the ocean and uh, it's not fully understood what is actually going on, but I can maybe try to explain a little bit about what it is. So if you see, I have got, just got a small piece of ice here. Uh, this is uh, not, this is freshwater ice normally we put in drinks, but salt ice behaves very differently because it's full of small brine channels in here. Because when sea ice forms, it's the fresh water is actually freezing and that concentrates all the salts within the seawater into small tubes and channels in and these tubes and channels they are uh, they are actually home for a suite of microorganisms and chemical uh, reactions going on there in there and um, um, as you concentrate the brine or you concentrate the salts and everything that is soluble in in the, in the, the water into the ice in these brine channels the concentrations they go very high and then it turns into a chemical factory where you have both the purely chemical reaction going on in multiple ways, but you also have all these microorganisms living in these channels and also affecting these chemical uh, reactions. And that all maybe sound a little uh, boring, but actually it, it has huge implications for what's actually going on. Considering that sea ice is disappearing at an alarming rate, this we, we, we have to scale that up somehow. So what we'll go, we're going to do is to try and figure out what happens here in this microenvironment for different types of ice and then working with the other uh, members of the CERC and the CERC and the University of Manitoba trying to, to figure out how much of, of each particular ice do we have different places in the Arctic and presumably also later in the, in the Antarctic and how, how, how large is this uptake on a global scale. So lots of things are going on there and a lot of new things are going to be developed. We, we have a lot of challenges uh, ahead of us, and, uh, and now, but now we have the means and the time to, to figure it out together, so that's very nice.